Welcome back to my writing studio. I had a great writing week. I added about 12,000 words to my manuscript, of which about 7,000 were from the previous draft, but the rest were new. I made some changes to a scene. I'm still not very happy with it, but I can get back to it a little later in the next draft. I just want to finish with this draft so that I can run it through this writing app that I have uh, never tried before. And talking about writing apps, I like to test different writing softwares and apps and there are so many that I could not for the life of me get a hang of, thank God for trial periods and uh, some that I absolutely love. I have made a few videos where I talk about writing apps but today I want to share some writing apps that I am using for the manuscript that I'm working on right now. Writing is a very personal thing and every writer has their own method to the madness so to say. And so the type of writing software that you use will largely depend on how you like to write. If you're new to writing, you'll have to figure out a few things before you can narrow down on what works for you. And so you might try out different things. I feel I'm relatively new to writing and there are so many new writing softwares that come out every year so I like to test them out and if you saw my video last week I don't know if you caught it but I actually showed that I budget some money every month which I can use to try different writing softwares I'll link that video if you'd like to watch it remember you don't need a writing software or an app to write your book in fact why don't i start there but if you want to skip to the writing software part then click on the next chapter of this video i have used just a simple notebook to start all my writing projects just a simple notebook in fact there are many famous authors who write their entire first draft on paper by hand in this notebook i have outlines of several books series standalones i have to write things down by hand for me to brainstorm and discover and solidify my story ideas. You can do this on sticky notes, note cards or just pieces of paper so you can move them around as you work on your story structure and plot. The other things you could use are whiteboards, chart papers, just large pieces of papers to see your story in one view. So you really don't need a lot of complicated writing software or apps to write a good book. I want to mention a few apps before I head to the apps I'm using right now. First is Plotter. I made a video where I share a little more detail about it but if you are starting off or you are big on outlining then try this app. It has a few days of free trial period. The next software is Fictionary. I'm using its trial period right now and I might use its paid version for a few months as I work on the revision of my book. I'm attending a free workshop that NaNoWriMo is having under its writer's resource called uh, Now What? And they're going through how to work on revisions and rewrites. They're offering some discounts. So if you are interested, do check it out. I'll remember to link it in the description or you can just check it out on their website, nanorimo.org. It should be under writer's resource. Coming back to Fictionary, there's a lot in this app and it'll take me some time to figure it all out. But what I am absolutely enjoying is their graph feature, which shows where your plot points are falling in comparison with where they should. And visually seeing this is surprisingly helpful. I haven't gone into too much detail, so I feel if I take the time and put in all the detail information, I think this app will be able to give better feedback. Try the free version, I don't see any harm. But now I want to share the three main apps that I'm using for my manuscript right now as I'm rewriting this draft. The first one is Microsoft Word. Google Doc is a good substitute if you don't have Microsoft Word. I listen to my draft, so the text-to-speech feature in Microsoft Word really comes in handy without having to get my nuance dragon out and setting it all up. Earlier last year, I had hired a developmental editor who used 
track change feature and comments feature to leave his critique and then i went back and added a bunch of my own comments and my own notes based on his editorial letter and the things that i wanted to change and add to the story plot and structure the second app that i'm using is notion I'm using it to organize my revision notes. In the past, I have struggled with managing my revision notes, sorting them out under different types and then focusing on one type at a time is making this round of revisions and rewrites so much more manageable. So once I finished making notes in the Word document, I went through each and sorted them out based on uh, Jessica Brody's method under structural level, scene level and page level. If you want to know more about her revision method, I highly recommend her revision course. I think she is offering a discount as well. If I can find it, I'll leave the link to it in the description section. It's not an affiliate link or anything. I just personally found her writing courses very helpful, so I'm recommending it. Once I had my notes sorted this way, it made it easier to focus on one type of edit at a time. The next writing software that I'm using is Pro Writing Aid, which is more for the page level edits. Right now, I'm running my manuscript through their pacing feature and it's giving such good feedback. They have a free grammar checker. You can just download the Chrome extension and use it. Although you'll not get all the features, I don't know if they have the pacing feature available for their free version. So you might want to check that out. Other thing you could do is to just uh, get the subscription when you are ready for self edits. So a month or maybe a year subscription should help you. I have their one year subscription which I renewed last year and I think it's going to be due for renewal very soon. And I'm contemplating whether I should get the lifetime subscription because it's been so helpful but it's quite an investment and I'm at the fence right now. I'm surely going to look out for some coupons or something probably in NaNoWriMo website but I find it very helpful and would recommend that you give it a try. Use the free version. You can use my affiliate link. Although you don't have to use it, you can just Google Pro Writing Aid and you'll find their website and you can take it from there. Do check the description section. I usually link a lot of things that I think might be helpful to you. So these are the writing apps and softwares that I'm using right now. I like testing new apps and would love to know what you use and would recommend. And now back to writing and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.